In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most effective passing concepts in Madden 21 from under center. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel, my channel is all about getting better at Madden 21. We try to get better every single day through tips, through strategies and things like that. So if you're interested in getting better at the game just like I am, go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen as we upload videos every single day that are designed to Help us get better at the game. So uh, we're going to jump right in here. And this is a formation I've been working out of a little bit. The single back trio out of the run heavy playbook. I think this run heavy playbook is super, super slept on. It's super effective. Uh, and I just think it's just very, very tough to stop. So if you haven't used the single back trio before, it's it's a, it's a one formation out of several. Um, and I actually just released a full ebook on the bunch tied in. Uh, formation in the run heavy playbook and this is all about how to just dominate and absolutely dot people up out of the bunch tight end so if you want to get that full ebook that link is in the description of this video all right so single back trio and i wanted to share with you just a simple simple uh passing concept now the play we're going to use for this is we're actually going to use um probably the play drive wheel um you don't necessarily have to have um, a specific play that you use. The one thing that I would recommend is be able to put the tight end on some type of uh, post route. That's really the key to this. Again, um, if you have Hot Route Master like most of you probably do, then this should be, you know, should not be a problem whatsoever. So anyway, drive wheel is what we're going to use though in this in this setup. And as you can see here, um, he's on this little short post. And what I like about this specific route is you can smart route it. The reason that that is, is important is because against man coverage, he's going to absolutely die. He, I mean, he's going he's gonna to just get open. I mean, he's just going to get open and just have, I mean, just throw lasers to him. He's going to be wide open. So, obviously, you want to do that. The next thing that I like to do is I like to take Valdez Scantling and put him on an out route. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Devontae Adams and I'm going to put him on a curl. And then I'm going to take Lazard and I'm going to put him on a hitch. The running back, I'm always going to block him, and I'm always going to slide my defensive line to the area of strength for the defense. So if the defense shifts their line to the right, I'm sliding to the right. If the defense shifts their line to the left, you better believe that I'm sliding to the left. Uh, but those three routes on the left side are absolutely phenomenal. They space the field really, really well. Um, you could also put Adams on a hitch and Lazard on a curl if you wanted to. The one problem with that is this tight end will run into him. Um, you'll see right here what I'm talking about. I mean, the tight end will get over him, as you'll see right there, and he'll be open for a late dot right there. So you do have that opportunity. But this is just a phenomenal, I'm telling you right now, this this play will get you so many first downs. Like, it is unreal. This is one of my favorite setups in the entire game. So literally what you'll see here, again, is I'm just going to low ball this, this curl to Devontae Adams. When you throw curl routes against man coverage, what you want to do is you just simply want to make sure that you are pass leading down and to the inside. So you really want to bring that ball back inside that way you kind of hedge your bet for an interception. They won't throw interceptions on these routes as long as you are very intentional about making sure that you're throwing this down into the inside and then you click on to the receiver. And once you click on to the receiver, bring him back to the ball. That's all you've got to do. And you'll notice that this will you will start completing more of these routes. Again, just bring them inside, click on. You've got to go make that play yourself. Where I made the mistake right there is I don't think I low-balled it. But these low-ball curls are super effective this year um, against man-to-man -man coverage. Now, this play is 100% designed to be able to beat zone. But there are two routes that you have that do beat man-to-man -man coverage very, very well. Um, in Robert Tunyon's route and then obviously uh, in Devontae Adams' route. Now, in Alan Lazard's route, I wouldn't throw this um, a ton if they're pre – I mean, if he's sitting right in front of it, as long as he has inside position, you can throw it. If you don't, as in, if he does not have inside position, don't throw it. Um, it's pretty much as simple as that. But, again, you see here, just low ball, jet, you know, rocket, throw it, and you get the separation against man. Now, where this play really shines is against zone coverage. Now, you know a lot of people right now in the community love to run Mabel coverage of some sort, and this is no different, right? This is a play that is designed 
to just simply allow you to work the ball up and down the field against Mabel coverage. Um, and so you see here, here's my setup. And basically on the left side, if they're not playing hard flats on that slot corner, I can throw that quick out pretty much at wheel. I can I can throw that as much or as little as I want to, um, and that's going to work. Now, where that doesn't work is something like this right here. So they're playing cover three right on the outside. If I were to throw this route against something like this where the slot is on the hard flat, you'll see here he's going to jump out, and he's got a chance to intercept the ball, as you can see right there. But... What happens is the defense will pretty much give me an instant tell at who they're going to guard. So if they jump out to the out route, then all I got to do is just move then to this other route right here. And as you can see, it's wide open against this coverage. Let me show you what I'm talking about real quick here. And I accidentally, um, accidentally audible to the wrong wrong defense here. But again, Mike Blitz three. I'm just going to shade coverage down to create those hard flats, and then I'm going to essentially create purple zones from my linebackers. And what you'll see here is, again, and this is the setup that they're, they're going to have to have a hard flat from somebody on the left side. So if they do that, then what you're going to notice is they're going to jet right out to it. And then I have the opportunity to throw this curl route. Now, again, you probably don't want to do what I just did, right? If they're flowing into the route, you don't want to throw it like I just did. But what you want to do is you want to wait just a second. And if, as long as you get some decent time in the pocket, you can throw this curl out. You'll see here he's just going to settle. Essentially, that curl out's going to drift, 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 and you're going to be able to hit that route to Devontae Adams for an easy, um, for an easy, you know, couple yards. Another thing that you can do is let's say that they don't go with that coverage, but you still don't feel comfortable. Um, you, you you still don't feel comfortable throwing the route to that as Scantling. Well, okay, just sit in the pocket, sit in the pocket, sit in the pocket, and once again, you see the zones are going to drift, and Devontae Adams is going to be wide open. Devontae Adams will be open probably 90% of the time from this formation, um, and this is going to be Tampa 2, but literally against every coverage in the entire game, this is the most simple thing in the world, but it's one of the most effective. As you see here, Tampa 2, Devontae Adams gets wide open, easy separation. Now, another thing that you could do if you wanted to, okay, another thing that you could do if you wanted to, um, especially if you wanted to work with this overall spacing of the play, is you could do double hitches, right? You could do two hitches instead of just one. Um, the one issue with that is you really got to be smart about how you throw these against zone because sometimes they'll look open and they might be covered. Sometimes they'll look covered and they might be open. If they have two yellows on one field, maybe a three rec and a vert hook, that can actually cause some problems uh, for this route coming. But, again, you see right here. Now, one of the things that you see there, Devontae Adams is wide open. So one of those three routes will get open. The reason I personally like the curl route is I think the curl route does a little bit better against man coverage. If you get in a situation um, where you're facing man, um, you want to have you know something like that to go to. One thing I didn't hit on was this corner route, or this not corner route, but this post route essentially acts like a corner route on the left side as well. That goes over to the top of the whole thing. So you have all of that in one little play. Uh, I think it's absolutely incredible. This offense, the single back trio, is super, super underrated. Um, it has so many good routes and concepts. So you can pair this very nicely with the bunch tight end offensive scheme that I released in my ebook. So make sure to take advantage of that, guys. But I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you, again, if you've not picked up the bunch tight end offensive ebook, that link is in the description of this video. Make sure to pick it up. If you have any questions about the single back trio or the or the bunch tight end, go ahead and text me or just Madden in general. Go ahead and text me. My phone number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the description of this video so that you can easily access that. We'll be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, so be sure to come by and hang out. We'll talk the Super Bowl, kind of recap what was going on. But thanks again, guys. Seriously, I really appreciate you guys. And again, for those of you that have not received the ebook or not gotten the ebook yet, that link is in the description, so make sure to take advantage of that before the uh, sale or the price of the ebook goes up because the price will go up after this weekend. Um, so make sure to take advantage of that now um, so that you don't get hit uh, don't, don't get hit down the road. But again, best offense, in my opinion, in the entire game. It's so simple, but it's so simple that it's super effective. Um, it's not simple at the cause of effectiveness, right? It's simple. 
so it's effective. So it's a very, very effective offense. People have gone 24 and 1, 23 and 2. Got a couple people that are trying to get to 25 and 0 in weekend league this weekend with this offense. I think, uh, like I said, you know, it is the best offense in Madden. So go ahead and pick it up today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow uh, or on tonight's stream.